NYPD says the majority of the violence that we have seen this week is initiated by agitators coming in from out of state and inciting violence. Seven on your side, investigator Dan Kraft took a closer look at who is getting arrested and what some are doing to stop the spread of misinformation. Close to 700 people arrested in the New York area alone last night. Many of the protesters were peaceful, but businesses continue to take precautions for the ones who are not. While many are showing up wanting their voices to be heard, others are smashing windows, starting fires, and looting stores. From New York City's wealthiest neighborhoods to its poorest, police say it's not all random cases, but also organized attacks. Twitter has suspended the account of a white supremacist organization. They say it was posing as a far-left group accused in putting out wrong information to incite violence. They're investigating hundreds of other accounts. The people who came to do violence in a systematic, organized fashion, that is a different reality we need to grapple with. Police arrested two attorneys accused of tossing Molotov cocktails at a cop car. Police have called them professional agitators. And another woman, they say, was arrested 11 times in 11 states for acts of violence and resisting arrest. <laughs> We found those getting arrested across the country have primarily lived in the states and communities where they've been arrested. That's the case from Minneapolis, where the protests started, to Miami, to Houston, Texas. As for New York, police haven't released the information yet. We're still waiting. As we see with anything, there'll be bad apples, and some people have expressed their rage in a variety of ways. But every we need to stop focusing on the tactics and tools, and we need to start focusing on the end goal, and that's to stop police brutality. The co-founder of Black Lives Matter of Greater New York believes the looting is discrediting the calls for justice for the death of George Floyd and the message behind the movement. I'm outraged, but not by the looting. I'm outraged that people care more about someone looting than about a man being murdered on film.